Hey fabulous authors! Lately I've been hearing a lot of people say that they just don't have time to write or to market their books and today I want to talk to you about how to find that time. So many times authors tell me they don't have time to write their books, much less time to market their books. But we know if you are not marketing your books, you're wasting your time writing them because you're not going to make any money off of them. You see, your author brand is your business, and if you are not investing time and effort into your business, your author brand, then it is going to fail. So how do some people come up with this time to be working on their business? Well, let me put it to you this way. Let's pretend that you are a parent. And as a parent, you have so much to do. You have to take care of your family, you have to take care of your house, you have a job, you have things that you have to do. One of those things is to take care of your children. Now, I know within your busy day, cooking dinner is probably the last thing you wanna do, but if you don't feed your children, what's going to happen to them? Probably not gonna end well, right? Well, the same thing is true about your business. If you are not taking the time to feed it and take care of it and nurture it, it will die. So you have to make that time to take care of your books and take care of your author brand. So what do you do? Well, finding time in your day is not going to happen. It's simply not. But you can make the time. You see, we make the time for the things that we prioritize. Maybe that's your family. Maybe that's going for your morning coffee. Maybe that's something else entirely. Do you prioritize your author brand and your books? If you do, you're going to make that time. So how do we find that time within our day to make the time? Well, some of my fantastic authors have really taken this to heart and they make the time within their schedule by getting up an hour earlier or staying up an hour later. I know when I was doing another day job, I did not have time for everything and so instead of taking a lunch break, I worked through lunch and I ate while I was working. I took advantage of every free second that I had and I did not waste my time. I did get up early, I did stay up late, and those helped too. So what do you need to do to make the time? Maybe it's giving up your coffee run in the morning. So you make your coffee at home and you work for that drive and that time you would spend in the coffee shop. Maybe it is working through lunch or maybe it's getting up out of bed an hour early or staying up a little late in the evening after your kids go to bed. Whatever you have to do to find the time and make the time, that is what you need to do to invest into your business so that you have the time that you need to be working on your books and working on your marketing. Because again, if you are not marketing your books, there's no point in writing them because no one's going to see them, no one's going to buy them. But if you spend your time really putting your effort into making that extra time to work on your books and your brand, then you're going to see your business grow. So this week, I want you to sit down and figure out how you can work a little bit of space into your schedule to be working on your author brand. If you have found this helpful, I hope that you will jump onto www.readingtransforms.com where you will have access to all of our courses, our online tutorials, our resources, our shows, our webinars, the master classes that we are teaching, and the amazing projects that we are doing over at Reading Transforms including all of our free resources for you to help grow your business and develop your marketing strategy to get your books out there in front of your fans. I'm K.M. Robinson of K.M. Robinson Photography and Reading Transforms, and I will see you in the next video. Stay inspired.